Pro Football Weekly is running the no huddle. Our topic this week is Carson Palmer. By now you know he's been traded for possibly two first round picks. So the question is, is he worth it? No. 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 I don't think so. Yes. The Raiders are clearly in win now mode. And when you look at their division, they have a chance to win the division. They got a decent defense, great running game. Oh, he's definitely not, you know, maybe five, six years ago, but you're not talking about a quarterback in his prime. Unless, you know, Carson Palmer could lead them to a Super Bowl, uh, it's just way too much. He's got to get to at least an AFC championship game to make this trade worth it. And if he does, they're going to have to give up another first round pick. In the end, that's not going to make it worth it. I think the GM of the Raiders next year is going to be very disappointed that he doesn't have any picks to walk into. They've already used a fourth round pick in next year's draft on Jason Campbell, a third round pick on Terrell Pryor. This is their third pick that they'll be using on a quarterback. Kyle Orton was out there. Uh, what's the difference between Carson Palmer and Kyle Orton at this point? Is it that big? Is it enough where you give up that much more than what you could have gotten Orton for? Given his play last season where you know he's interception prone, not really doing the things you know Cincinnati went in to do, I don't see it. If you look at the model for success around the NFL, it's stockpiling draft picks, making wise calculated decisions. In my opinion, this is not a wise calculated decision by the Raiders. By next year, you've got Jason Campbell back, who Al Davis thought was the quarterback of the future. So this just looks like a panic move to me. They're in a very winnable division where they just have to compete with the Chargers. I think a wild card spot is also going to open up in the AFC. Some teams have been disappointing. Palmer could be the, uh, the X factor. Poor Kevin, all alone is the only yes vote and I'm gonna have to keep it that way. No, he's not worth it. With the value of first round picks now, a 31 year old quarterback that struggled and really looked bad the last couple of years, I'm not paying two firsts for that. That's our no huddle for this week. For the best coverage around the league, check us out at profootballweekly.com.